Welcome back to Audiotion, where the enchantment of Hogwarts continues to captivate our imaginations. As we delve into Part 3 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we're about to embark on an exhilarating new chapter of Harry's fourth year. Before we dive into Part 3, let's revisit the excitement of Part 2. We've seen the Triwizard Tournament's Champions Chosen and the competition's first task, the Dragon Challenge, unfold in breathtaking detail. Harry's unexpected participation and the aftermath of the thrilling events have set the stage for even greater challenges ahead. Now, as we turn the pages to chapter 11 through 15, prepare for more magical surprises, intense rivalries, and deeper mysteries as the tournament progresses. So, grab your wand and let's continue this spellbinding adventure together. Chapter 11 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is titled Aboard the Hogwarts Express. The chapter begins with Harry and his friends returning to Hogwarts for the start of their fourth year. They are greeted by a new defense against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Moody, who appears to be very knowledgeable and experienced. During the train ride to Hogwarts, Harry and his friends encounter Draco Malfoy and his cronies, who taunt them about the recent events at the Quidditch World Cup. They also encounter a new character, Cedric Diggory, a fellow Hogwarts student and Triwizard Tournament competitor. Upon arriving at Hogwarts, Harry and his friends are surprised to find that the castle has undergone some changes. The entrance hall has been decorated with banners from the three schools competing in the Triwizard Tournament, and there is a new maze-like hedge maze in the grounds. During the sorting ceremony, the new students are sorted into their respective Hogwarts houses. Harry and his friends are pleased to see that their friend Neville Longbottom has been sorted into Gryffindor, their own house. The chapter ends with Harry and his friends settling into their dormitories and eagerly anticipating the start of the Triwizard Tournament. Harry is still troubled by his dreams and the events he witnessed over the summer, but he is determined to focus on the tournament and his studies. Chapter 12 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is titled The Triwizard Tournament. The chapter begins with Hogwarts hosting the Triwizard Tournament, a prestigious event that is held every five years. Three schools are competing, Hogwarts, Bose Batons, and Doomstrand. During the opening ceremony, Harry and his friends are introduced to the other schools and their respective champions. Cedric Diggory for Hogwarts, Fleur de Lacquer for Bose Batons, and Victor Crumb for Doomstrand. They are also introduced to Ludo Bagman, the referee of the tournament. The first task of the tournament is announced, and the champions are given a clue to help them prepare. Harry is particularly nervous, as he is the youngest competitor and feels that he has a lot to prove. In the weeks leading up to the first task, Harry and his friends prepare for the challenge. Harry receives some unexpected help from Professor Moody who seems to be watching over him and giving him advice. The day of the first task arrives, and Harry is relieved to find that he will be facing a dragon. He manages to retrieve the golden egg from the dragon's lair, earning him points and putting him in second place in the tournament rankings. The chapter ends with Harry and his friends celebrating their success and eagerly anticipating the next task of the tournament. Harry is relieved to have completed the first task successfully, but he knows that the competition will only get tougher from here on out. Chapter 13 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is titled mad I Moody. The chapter begins with Harry receiving a note from Hagrid, inviting him to visit his hut. When he arrives, 
Hagrid tells him about his half brought her Grawk, a giant who Hagrid is trying to tame. Harry is skeptical about Hagrid's ability to handle such a dangerous creature. Later, Harry attends defense against the Dark Arts class with Professor Moody. Moody is an unconventional teacher who uses practical demonstrations and hands-on experience to teach his students. He is particularly interested in teaching Harry and the other Triwizard Tournament competitors how to defend themselves in dangerous situations. After class, Harry and his friends discuss Moody's strange behavior and his fascination with the dark arts. They are particularly intrigued by a cursed object on display in his office, a magical eye that can see through walls and other solid objects. As the weeks go by, Harry continues to excel in the tournament, but he is increasingly anxious about the danger he faces. He confides in Sirius Black, who urges him to be careful and trust his instincts. One day, Harry overhears a conversation between Professor Moody and Professor Snape, which confirms his suspicions about Moody's true identity. He realizes that the real Moody is being held captive by the Death Eater Barty Crouch Jr., who has been impersonating him all year. The chapter ends with Harry and his friends rushing to tell Dumbledore about their discovery. They are shocked and alarmed by the implications of what they have learned and the danger they are now in. Chapter 14 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is titled The Unforgivable Curses. The chapter begins with Harry and his friends telling Dumbledore about their suspicions regarding Mad-Eye Moody's true identity. Dumbledore is shocked by their revelation and immediately takes action to investigate their claims. In the meantime, Harry and his friends continue their studies and prepare for the next task of the Triwizard Tournament. During their defense against the Dark Arts class, Professor Moody teaches them about the three unforgivable curses, the Imperious Curse, the Cruciatus Curse, and the Killing Curse. He demonstrates the effects of the curses on a spider, horrifying the students. After class, Harry confronts Moody about his knowledge of the unforgivable curses. Moody explains that it is important for them to understand the curses and how to resist them, as they may face them in the future. As the weeks go by, Harry becomes increasingly suspicious of Moody's behavior. He notices that Moody is always watching him and seems to know more than he should about his personal life. He shares his concerns with Ron and Hermione, who urge him to be careful. The chapter ends with Harry and his friends learning that the next task of the tournament will involve retrieving something important from the bottom of a lake. They begin to prepare for the task, but Harry is still preoccupied with his suspicions about Moody and the danger he may be in. Chapter 15 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is titled Bose Batons and Doomstrand. The chapter begins with the arrival of the Bose Batons Academy of Magic and the Doomstrand Institute at Hogwarts for the Triwizard Tournament. Harry and his friends are excited to see the other magical schools and meet their students. During the welcoming feast, the Bose Batons students impress the Hogwarts students with their elegant entrance while the Doomstrand students arrive in a dramatic fashion on a ship that rises out of the lake. Harry is particularly intrigued by Victor Krum, the Doomstrand champion and famous Quidditch player. The next day, Harry and his friends attend classes and continue to prepare for the second task of the tournament. Harry receives a message from Sirius Black 
urging him to be cautious and warning him that Voldemort may be behind the tournament's challenges. As the days go by, Harry spends time with Cho Chang, a fellow Hogwarts student whom he has a crush on. He also continues to be suspicious of Moody and his behavior. The chapter ends with the second task of the tournament beginning, with Harry and the other champions diving into the lake to retrieve the object they were tasked with finding. Harry is surprised to find that the object he must retrieve is his best friend Ron, who has been taken captive by the Mare people. Harry and the other champions must rescue their hostages before time runs out. As we close this chapter on Part 3 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we've seen the stakes rise higher than ever. From the harrowing second task in the depths of the lake to the growing tension among the tournament's champions, the drama and danger continue to escalate. Thank you for joining us through these thrilling chapters. But the adventure is far from over. Stay tuned for the upcoming parts as the Triwizard Tournament reaches its climax and more secrets unfold. If you've missed any part of the journey, check out our playlist for Harry Potter books 1, 2, and 3, as well as parts 1 and 2 of Goblet of Fire. And for more magical tales and audiobooks across all genres, download the Audiotion app. The link is in the description below. Until next time, keep the magic alive and remember, in a world full of challenges, courage and friendship are the greatest spells of all.